everybody welcome to our all new video with matt today we picked up these little bu tie-dye kits guys check this out right here picked these up at my local dollar general in the clearance aisle for just 50 cents a box guys that is crazy right there it comes with all of these colors right here you got salmon blush mint lemon and sky right there guys check that out there we are going to open up a kit went ahead and picked up two of them just to make some stuff with my daughter you know like some little onesies tie dyed or something my wife can make one also so as you can see when we open it up you get these little bottles right here guys it's got all the color powder inside and you just fill those up with water and shake those up really good right so here we go there's our other colors we got right there as you can see the powder you just fill it up with water shake it up really good so inside of the kit comes with the little guide right here that you can use and follow that or you can just freestyle it man like i like to do so here we go also includes 20 rubber bands because we'll need the rubber bands to like tie up the place you know that's why it's called like a tie dye you know so we got to be able to tie up our stuff that we use and i'm just going to be doing a bunch of old t-shirts maybe even a onesie for my daughter all right so we got the rubber bands and of course it's going to come with a stack of little gloves right there you guys can wear so you don't get the dyes all over your hands while you handling them guys so like i said i've got a couple of t-shirts that i'm going to try out today and i got some stuff that i want to dye so let's go ahead and get our bottles filled with water hey right, guys there we go we got our bottles filled up and shook up really nice as you can see your different colors you got your like to me you know they're like red blue green pink yellow but you know they call them cool fancy stuff right so let's go ahead and wrap one of our shirts up guys all right guys so here is the shirts i was talking about right here i bought a brand new plain white tee as you can see just brand spanking new fresh off of the shelf then i got some old dingy white tees that don't even wear no more these are the like thicker base type of like fruit of the loom shirts guys they're really thick right like i said that's got a little fade to it so that's why i don't mind slapping some color on there got this old like hurley shirt right here guys that i'm going to tie dye that i love to wear right here all right got that and I got this little fishing shirt that I wear when I surf fish sometimes, guys. You can see that right there. All right, well, it's seen its days. It's got some stains that won't come out right there, you can see. So we're going to try to tie-dye a stained shirt just to see what that looks like. Also, with a print on it, guys. I've never done a shirt with a print before, so it'll be interesting to see how that's going to turn out on that, right? So let's go ahead and knot up a few of them. All right, guys, so I'm just going to start it off with the old little dirty tee right there. Let me get these out of the way, guys. So what I'm going to do with this one is, is I'm going to just lay it out like this. And make sure when you're doing this, you've got a protected surface. This is just like my old little wood, little work table I like to use for different stuff like painting things and stuff. So it doesn't matter here, but always protect the surface that you're going to work on. And I highly recommend you do it outside like I'm doing, guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it right here in the middle. This is going to be the classic, like, swirl style, right? So just going to pinch it up slowly like this. I'm going to fold this end in. I'm going to turn this piece right here and make it go in half like that. And turn in like a star almost, guys. You can see. Tuck that one up to that one. Same thing. I'm going to fold this. This is what I like to do there. I like to just freestyle it. No like set like pattern or anything. Fold that in. Alright. Like that. That's what I've got going on. Then I'm going to roll these edges and turn them like this. Alright. Then this I'm going to fold in half. Twist it. and make it connect right there guys so that is like my little pattern i got going on for that so now we just need to take these rubber bands and put them all over it right now this is all like freestyle nothing's gotta be perfect don't worry about doing it kind of like you know like bob ross in a way like happy accident type of stuff guys like just do your thing and don't worry about how the results come out that's what makes tie dyeing cool it's always going to be something different so i'm just gonna put some rubber bands all around it like that and notice i'm leaving this top section out i'm, I'm going to do something different with that end so that's that 
Alright guys, so here is my funky piece right here as you can see. Check that out right there guys. Got the thing all wrapped up looking all cool and crazy, you know. So now we can go ahead and dye this one, right? So let's go ahead and do that real quick guys. I'm going to start with my favorite right here with the blue. Let's see what I want some blue. I want some blue in the main focus part. Just kind of fill in different little spots. All right, guys, so there you have it. There is that one right there that we got done. As you can see, just went all freestyling with the colors, putting them in different places, highlighting some big and then some little mixed in, just adding swirls all over all over the place, guys. So now, just give it a good squeeze all around. That's what I like to do, guys, just so it soaks the colors in a little better. See all that juice coming out right there, guys? That's not reaching inside like you want it to do. Go. Alright, so now what we can do is start to carefully remove our rubber bands so we can reuse them onto the next couple of shirts we got going on. So that's that one right there, and we'll show all of these when we get done. Alright, guys, so now I'm going on to the next one right here. This one is one that is a printed tee right here, guys. I've never tried one as a printed tee, so I'm gonna do something different with this one. I'm just gonna fold it in half. Just like that right there, right? Hold it again, just like that. All right, so now we've got that folded up. Let's go ahead and pinch right here, just a little bit, and then we're gonna just turn it. We're just gonna twist it. You're forming like a little bowl or something. Imagine like making pottery, and this is your pottery wheel. and tight all right so as you can see got that right there same thing like we did last time just going to put a bunch of rubber bands all around it guys to lock that in place Hey guys there we go keeping this one a little simple we're not using as many this time as you can see got some nice little grid squares to go by right here guys so yeah let's go ahead and start dying this one now Alright guys, so there goes that one, so now I'm going to quickly unravel this one real quick and hang it up on the clothesline also and move on to the next. As you can see, I was able to do about two 
large adult male shirts, guys. So it says on there it can do up to like a bunch of things, but I guess that's if it's small stuff like a kid's hat or something like that right there, right? So yeah, that's going to look cool once we do it a little touch up for sure. All right, didn't get enough because we ran out of the ink right there, guys, but we got another kit. So let's go ahead and continue with that. Guys, went ahead and saved y'all a little time and wrapped up the last two shirts that we got right here. As you can see, a little spillage has gotten on these while we've been working, so I always keep your stuff away from it. But since we're already tied down, it doesn't really matter. So, got this one all shaped funky like that right there. And got this one all balled up like that, like that crumbled look right there, guys. So, we'll go ahead and dye this stuff now. Alright guys, so I've hung these shirts out to dry and we're going to let them hang out at least 24 full hours before we can wash and dry them guys. So let that just hang dry out in the sun just like that and then once they're dry like that just make sure it's been 24 hours since you've stained it. Then go ahead and wash the load on cold water guys and you can dry it. As we have washed and dried our tie-dye shirts that we've done let's check them out right here now this is the printed tee that i did right here as you can see it did okay job i want to say it isn't too bad looks really good especially with the naked eye guys the colors do pop out it's just hard to see on this kind of cloudy day right here guys it did leave the stain so i'm assuming that that stain is for life unless i get one of those like little stain pins or something like that guys but anyways it's just a fishing shirt something to have out there pretty cool right there so the printed tee did turn out okay as you can see all right so let's go ahead to the next one right here the next one we've got this right here is an old white t-shirt not brand new or nothing like that but check that out it turned out pretty good it's got the cool little swirl pattern in there guys i like that a lot right there pretty cool especially on the back right here i kind of see like a little bit of a face right there going on it looks like a face sticking its tongue out right there so that is pretty cool also so that is the old white tee that i had all right here goes the brand new white tee that we did now this one I was starting to run out of ink a little bit on it, guys. I was getting a little worried about that right there. As you can see, there is a lot of white all in the mix still, but there's that cool little tie-dye vibe pattern going on on everything, as you can see. Let me hold that up right there better. You can see the bottom pretty cool down there. Turned out pretty good. Now, the one that we did with the Hurley shirt, as you can see, the Hurley shirt, guys, didn't get too much color because we ran out as we were doing this shirt right here. And plus, as I was putting it on, I don't know exactly, it says that this is 100% cotton, right? Well, it's really super thin and it almost feels like it's a water resistant type of material. Like I wear this out fishing when I go on the kayaks and stuff like that. But the ink just wanted to repel instead of soak in in a lot of these places right here as you can see let me hold that up so it turned out okay but definitely when we get some more tie dye dye in guys we will definitely be redoing this because it's one of my favorite shirts right there but yeah basically what happens we just ran out of ink as we were doing it guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that tie dye shirt video be sure to hit that like button down below for me and i will see you in the next video have a wonderful week ahead peace